Hey guys. I told you I'd be back cooking soon. How is everybody? Oh, so, I've been wanting to do this. I have had, <laughs> this is a funny story. So I bought the um, green chilies. I brought them from AJ's because I we have them there. We use them in omelets and on burgers and all this stuff. And so I brought them and they've been in the fridge. This is how long I've wanted to make this. And I had to throw them out yesterday because they were moldy. So they've been in there long enough to go moldy. So I brought new ones today. And um, I have way too many because it only calls for, I think it's one, tea, one tablespoon. And I brought all, it's like up to here. And I made one, of course, already. But So anyway, so I've been wanting to make this for a minute. And I thought tonight's the perfect night. We're going to have salad and chicken tonight. So a little bit of keto bread with it is going to be good. So Ryan went to Costco with a big long list. So he's going to bring me chicken. I love the chicken there. And um, we would just buy the rotisserie. Every time we go, we buy one and it'll last for a couple meals. And so that's dinner. So anyway, it's a mug cake. So you're, or a mug bread, I guess, technically. So you're just gonna pick, I like to pick a bigger one um, because then it's more thinned out and it's not so thick and dense. So I pick a, a larger cup. I mix everything in there and then you just microwave it. It's that simple. So as you hop on, say, hey, um, are you keto? Are you low carb? Are you none of it? Are you just looking for some fun, easy recipes? Because that's what I do. And then, um, if you could share it out. So we always talk about this every time that I get put in Facebook jail all the time. So, because <laughs> I just am too active. And so I need your help. It helps me um, grow. It helps me teach people all the different things and the easy, fun recipes. So if you're in any keto groups, low carb groups, to your own page, people you know that cook like this, send them this recipe, it'd be good. Hi Karen, how are you? Way over there in the other country. Um, hi Candy, how are ya? All right you guys, so it's super, super simple like everything I do. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? So I'm gonna break the egg first because I like to have the egg on the bottom just kind of help soak everything up. So one egg. And then I melted my butter already. It's two tablespoons. So the recipe is in the description. Hi, Mary. So as you hop on, um, if you want the recipe, it's already there for you. And if you share this out, the reason I put it on there, so when you share it out, it, the recipe will go with it. So wherever you share it, people will have the recipe. But you're more than welcome to follow me because I do try to go live three times a week with some kind of cooking. So I have my whole schedule, it's over there on the table, but I have um, a whole week and a half worth of recipes already shopped for and everything. So I'm gonna do it. Because what happens is I get home from work and we're busy in the summer, so I'm tired. And if I don't have the right supplies, I just won't do it. So I pre-did, and this morning I was at the grocery store at 5.20, which is crazy. But they're open 24 hours, and I hate to shop. So when I can get in there and get out and no one's in my way, it's perfect. So I have quite a few recipes, fun ones. Some that are kind of different and more snackies and, and full-on dinners too, so... Okay, so there's an egg in here. There's butter in here that I already melted. Then we're gonna do baking powder, which um, is just a half a teaspoon, so not very much. I do recommend that you always check your spices, whatever spices you're using. Um, make sure they don't have any sugar, you know, those kind of things. Unfortunately, we have to check everything now. All right, so that's the baking powder cayenne. Um, pepper or flakes. I like flakes. And it does say um, a quarter teaspoon, but I'm just going to put some flakes in there. I don't measure that. And then your almond flour. So your almond flour is three tablespoons. That's going to go in there. I spilt a little bit. It's okay. And then your cheese. Two tablespoons. And I did a jack and cheddar mix. Um, shred it up. But you can pick any kind of cheese you like. 
Jack and Jen. Oh, I have some showaffles. I call them showaffles. That's probably not the right way to say it, but that's the way I say it. So I have some really good ones planned for you guys. They look delicious. One's like a hash brown one, and then one is a fried pickle one. This looks so good. All right, green chilies um, are next, and that is just one tablespoon. I'm going to kind of make it heaping because I have so many. They'll make a good omelet, though. If you guys haven't had a green chili and cheese omelet, try it. It's so good. Good, good combo. A sausage in it, too, is good. All right. That's it. So we've got all, yep. So you're just going to, that's what it looks like right now. Kind of see that. And then I take a fork. I like to use a fork because it really gets it mixed up and you wanna make sure it's really mixed. I've, the only time I've ever had a problem with a mug cake or um, a mug bread is when I didn't mix it good enough. And then my microwave, the recipe calls for two minutes, but I always like to advise that every recipe or microwave is different, not recipe, but microwave is a little bit different. But I did it for two minutes and this one came out perfect. The last one I did was a raspberry mug cake, and I had to cook it longer than the recipe said. Okay, because it just didn't, didn't work. All right, so it's all really mixed good, like so, and then we're gonna put it in for two minutes. And it's that simple. And I have a finished product. Look at how good that looks, see? Kind of, um, I put it on its side right away because when I flinged it out. But honestly, this is probably a couple servings. You're going to want to just cut it into little strips and probably serve it with a little butter on it. Look at how good that looks. That look good? Let's try it and see. I didn't even try it first. Normally, I don't do that. I like to... Um, <laughs> Make sure that it's a success before I try it and that it doesn't suck because my face I don't I don't lie very well <laughs> All right mm. It's good Mmm, those green chili. Oh, yeah, it's good Even with and with a little butter with like your salad mm -hmm. It's a little bit soft but it's not bad. Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. Dried out, it's going to be more breadish. You could toast it and give it that crunch, but it's delicious. Those green chilies, and then I can taste the red pepper flakes. My mouth is a little bit hot right now, <laughs> but that's okay. Mm, yeah, that's good. Really, really good, you guys. A success once again. There you go, that's what it looks like. The other one's gonna be done in a minute. Definitely let it cool, which is part of the reason I made it ahead of time, because it cuts much better. And then if you wanna heat it up again, or throw it in the toaster, like I said, it's gonna be harder to put in the toaster in these little things, but if you have those little tongs, you pull them up. So that's what I would say, toasting them up and making them more breadish. Or you could bake them, throw them in the oven with a little butter on them, and bake them like on broil, and then get that crunchiness. Those would be good. They make like good croutons. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. So super, super simple. This one's done. I'm going to let it cool before I pull it out. And so that's it. I will be back tomorrow. I don't know what my plan is tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Normally I do, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I do have a whole week, or I have 10 days all organized and shopped for and everything, so. All right, I love and appreciate you. Hi, Lori. I just made some yummy bread, Lori. It's keto green chili bread, and it's delicious. And I um, I'm always haven't always been a big fan of the mug cakes, um, hi, Jessica, but these are good, really, really good. So, all right, you guys, I love and appreciate you. If you don't mind sharing, I would really appreciate it. Keep me out of jail, you guys. <laughs>
<laughs> and I will see you tomorrow with something else, okay? Bye.